Hello everyone, welcome to Movie Review UK, my name's MJ and today we are reviewing Captain Marvel, the latest film in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I saw this film at midnight today, the day that I'm filming this, because uh, it's come out, it's International Women's Day. So, girl power to all my lady, my, all my single ladies and my, my occupied ladies and all the different women's watching. Uh, yeah, Captain Marvel, I bloody enjoyed it. I, I like just cutting to the jib in these videos, in these reviews. Yeah, bloody enjoyed it. Uh, Brie Larson, I think, was tremendous. I think it's worth noting that I avoided all of the trailers beforehand, so I, did, I didn't really um, know sort of what, what to expect from her performance or anything. Um, I, I'd read the odd thing. I think she got a little bit of uh, criticism from coming, coming across as quite cold, I think some of the feedback said. But actually, I think her character is just quite curt. Um, and I think that's brilliant. You know, Brie Larson is a tremendous actress or actor. Um, and if you've seen any of her other films, um, she does have a wide range. So, yeah, what, what I'm saying is so, sometimes um, actors come across very much as themselves in roles. But but in this, you can tell she, you can tell she's acting, guys. It is it is a, a thing, a film. Um, and I loved her personality. She, like I said, she was curt, but she's also very sassy. Uh, she's very smirky, smiley funny, she likes to have a laugh, um, but she's also got a very humane side to her as well. I think the plot is, is brilliant, um, there's there's lots of intricacies, it is an incredibly jam-packed film. This is probably one of the, the densest Marvel Cinematic Universe uh, movies, uh, which I really liked. Uh, there are some sort of montage sort of moments where it looks sort of flashback type, type things and it's incredibly intense and you see quick little snippets of her past. Uh, and it works really well because we're, what, 25 films or so into the Marvel Cinematic Universe? Um, you, you, I, I guess you don't want to spend so much time setting up someone. But this this definitely is a setup film. It is an origin film. Um, and it's brilliant. It's a brilliant prequel. Uh, it's set in the 90s. I'm not sure exactly what period. I think somewhere around 1998. Based on some of the music that they choose. I think it's from around that era. Um, and so it's it's... It's got a great combination between sort of interstellar, excuse me, interstellar antics, um, and then grounded '90s vibes, um, and it's great. Uh, the extended cast is brilliant. Samuel L. Jackson is fantastic. Uh, Jude Law's very good, and uh, now Jude Law sort of is playing himself, to be honest. Um, and it's great to see Agent Coulson again. The CGI is tremendous because, of course, Coulson and uh, and Nick Fury are. Uh, what, 20 years younger than, than the most recent time we see them all, um, roughly. Um, so the CGI is just so impressive. Uh, the action scenes are incredible. It's uh, It's got lots of, not Easter eggs, but lots of, lots of reveals for fans of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It's got some really big um, diversions from the comics, really big changes uh, that I've heard have been quite controversial amongst some fans. And I can definitely see why they would be. Um, there's, it, it's. I think it's not unfair to say there is a one or two changes in this film that are um, somewhat similar to the Mandarin reveal in Iron Man Three. Um, the Iron Man reveal in the sorry, the Mandarin reveal in Iron Man Three. I didn't really like. Um, I absolutely loved one of the things they did in Captain Marvel. However. Um, it made so much sense, and it, again, it really works for the Marvel Cinematic Universe uh, in a way that it could never work for the comic. So, <sighs> direction is, I, I think the direction is really good. There's some really nice uh, cinematography, some nice differing shots. Um, I think it's, it's, it can be somewhat unimaginatively shot in places, but not really a, a big criticism. As I say, there are some really nice uh, sort of wide shots. There's some nice camera angles, uh, camera movements, and uh, also slow-mo is, is used to some good effect, I would say. Uh, character designs are brilliant, as I think I just said. Um, and uh, yeah, just thoroughly enjoyed it. A great blend of action and character, and it was an absolute treat to be introduced to Brie Larson as Captain Marvel. Um, I am incredibly, incredibly, incredibly excited to see what they do with this character, how she uh, fits in with all the others in Avengers Endgame, and I'm very, very excited and hopeful that they do a sequel to Captain Marvel. I give it a 9 out of 10. Thank you very much for watching Movie Review UK, guys. I uh, would love to hear what you thought of Captain Marvel in the comment section below. And cheers, we'll see you next time.